Good morning, grade eight students. This is the math uh, session uh, with your teacher, Ms. Khawla. And today we're going to take an algebra lesson, uh, chapter four, lesson number four, which is about uh, finding the slope of the line using the slope formula. Before we start the lesson, I'd like to ask you a question first. Have you ever seen a high mountain? Uh, of course, in a lane, we have a famous one. I'd like to share with you now uh, a video. Um, it takes like about um, maybe one to two minutes. So I want you to watch it well and carefully and try to take notes about something uh, that you noticed just now. And of course, it should be related to the lesson. Supposed to be the world's greatest driving road on the way to Jabal Afid. Let's give it a try. After you watch the, the, the video, uh, I'd like to ask you one question. Now, why do you think the road is bended? It's not a straight road, uh, so we need to curve, we need to bend our path in order to reach to the uh, highest place in this mountain. Uh, have you ever asked yourself why this road is bended? This is a big question mark, and I want you to keep it in your mind uh, till the end of this session. And I'm sure that at the end of this session, you will be able to answer this question and give a reasonable answer. Okay, let's go back to our lesson today. We have two objectives. The first objective is we are going to uh, define or refresh uh, the, uh, the meaning of the slope, the term slope and um, we will find today the slope of a line giving two points using the slope formula. In the second slide, we have two um, links. These are for, uh, uh, they are uh, YouTubes for a famous mathematician. Enjoy watching them. And uh, in, in order to confirm the idea of this lesson. And the third one, if you want to enjoy watching, uh, Jabal uh, Hafid Mountain or Jabal Hafid uh, as it is known so you can enjoy watching uh, the whole video here and these are some informations about uh, Hafid Mountain uh, now let me ask you about something that we can see it on the street uh, this sign what does it mean what do you think okay let's describe it what do we have here what can you see Ah, yeah, there is a vehicle and there is, um, uh, there is a road. Now, uh, how can we describe this or can we guess the meaning of this sign? Is it something for icy road ahead or a steep road ahead or curvy road ahead or a tracks entering a highway ahead? Of course, there is a steepness. 
the straight uh, the the road is not a street uh, is not a straight also so this is uh, a steep road ahead now uh, we know the sign we we now we uh, discuss the sign itself but what if there is a number uh, under the sign what if it's seven percent what does it mean it means that okay i will i will show you also what does it mean here it means that there is a vertical change which is in my in our case here seven feet so it means that the road drops seven feet in which direction vertically so you know what the vertically up and down okay so this is the vertical one so seven feet vertically for every hundred feet horizontally so this one is the hundred is the hundred uh, feet horizontally so this one is the 400 feet horizontally so there is a uh, there is a ratio between the vertical change and the horizontal change now so let's uh, again uh, revise or let's remember together what do we mean by saying slope the slope is the steepness of a line to find the slope there are two ways if uh, if I give you a graph or the line itself so you can find the slope using rise over run rise divided by run and now we will talk about this with more details but there is also another way in case that we have the uh, the line or the graph and at least two points we um, should be a clear ones on the line to be able to find the steepness of the line using uh, the slope formula uh, of course we will talk about each one of them uh, with more details by the way m is the slope so we can use this symbol to show that this is for the slope instead of, say, of writing um, the word slope each time let's take this example if i ask you to determine the slope of this line as you see this line from left to right it is uh, increasing okay so while you are moving from left to right the line is increasing um, they try to give two clear points and uh, as you see here we have two dots two blue dots here these are ordered pairs and of course this is for um, we will write the ordered pairs but we don't need to know them now we will just focus on the two points okay now how can I find the steepness there is a change there is a vertical change and there is a horizontal change and these two changes they can we can write them as a ratio now the vertical change over the horizontal change this is the ratio now let's uh, name the first one the first point a and the second point the second point is B okay so this one is a and this one is B if I want to start from point A now we will try to find the slope in case that I want to start from point A in order to reach to point B okay now how can we do this I don't know what is your favorite color but I try to take something that uh, all students boys and girls they like it let me choose I'll use what about the purple one okay I think you you will like it okay now we will start from point A so again rise over run I'm oh, sorry rise over run So let me erase this by mistake okay so we will uh, we will try to find the rise over run first of all we uh, let's talk uh, uh, about each one of these terms now when I say rise it means that we need to move vertically if you will move up in order to reach to the other point this it takes a positive sign I mean the number of units okay now this one if it's um, down 
then this will take the negative sign. What about the run? Run how you are running horizontally. So we're talking about if I will move horizontally to the right side, this will take the positive sign. But if I will move to the left, if I need to move to the left, then this will take the negative sign. Keep this in your mind while we are finding uh, the slope using the rise over run. So we said it's rise over run. So rise divided by run. Now, what is the slope in this case? The slope equals rise over run. So what is the rise? Okay, we'll start from A. Now we need to reach to B and you can only move vertically then horizontally. Now vertically we will move one, two, three. There are three units. And in which direction did we move? Up. So because of this, this will be three and it should be positive because it's up. Now, uh, still I didn't reach to uh, point B. We need to move horizontally. One, two, three, four. Then five and six. Now, we have a three, rise is a three, and it's positive because it's, we, we moved up. And the run is six, and it's also positive because we moved to the right side. Don't forget these here, the signs. Now, I will write three over six. Is this in simplest form? Of course, no. So what we will do, you know how to do this in grade eight. You will divide by the common factor, which is in our case, three. So you will divide each one by three. This will give you one over two. What does it mean? It means for each one unit, uh, for the vertical change one unit, if it will change one unit, then horizontally it will be um, uh, for each one unit moved horizontally we uh, vertically sorry we uh, there are two units we will move we need to move two units uh, um, horizontally so the uh, the vertical change if the vertical change is one then the horizontal change will be double that okay so this is what uh, what do we mean by this and this is i think it, you can see it here three and here double three which is six now what if i want let's say that another student um she or he wants to start from the the other point so do you think that it works uh we will try let's uh, try to do this uh i don't know what is your again the color but maybe you will like the um, what about the orange one okay let's take this now if i will start from b this time okay B to A. Okay, now we will see if we will get the same answer or different answers. B to A. Okay, now B to A again, the slope equals rise over run. Now, where is B? This is B. Now, we will find we, we need to go up or down. Where is A? A is below B, so we need to move down one, two, three. Of course, this is not the only way, um, but uh, I will show you the other way also how to find the, the, the vertical change. Uh, but let's take this um, count, to the, uh, count the, unit, the number of units. Uh, these are three units, and we're moving down. So three units, it means the rise is a three, but we have to show the direction. So we're moving down. So that's why it's negative three. Let's write this one in the numerator. Okay. Now we need to, did we reach to A? No, not yet. So what we will do, we will move horizontally. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, is this six? Is this right? No, it's not right because we are moving in which direction? We're moving to the left. So it should be negative six. So let's write the run negative six. Okay, keep this in your mind, the signs while you are solving. 
Now, if you will simplify it, what is the slope? The slope is negative divided by negative is positive. 3 over 6 is 1 over 2. Now, let's compare the two answers. This is 1 over 2. And this one is 1 over 2. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't matter from which point you will start. But be careful. You should consider the sign while you are writing your rise and run. Now, um, are these the only two points that we can find the slope? You can choose any other two points. Okay. Now, of course, we have other examples here. But let us, uh, let's do one more. Now, if I want to take this point, okay, this point. I want to show you that you can you can choose any two points, but they should be on the line. So let's take uh, this point. Uh, I need to change this. Let's take the the bl the the black one if you can see it. Okay, so this one is um, the point. Let's say that this one is D. Okay, so point D, and this is another point. Okay, uh, let's say that this one is F. Okay, now how can I find the slope? Okay, do you think that if we will change the points on the line, this will give us something else? Uh, we will see. Now, don't forget the slope is the change, the vertical change over the horizontal change. Okay, we are using two different uh, points on the same line. Now, if I want to reach to F, uh, start from B, a D. So, how can we do this one? What is the rise? I need to move up, so this is one. Now, did we reach to F? No, not yet. So we need to move to the right again. One, two. So it will be one, positive one, because I moved up, and positive two, because I moved to the right side. So it is one over two. Is it the same? Uh, okay, you have to notice something here, that if the line, for each line, there is one slope, you can choose any two points. Your points shouldn't be the same. I mean, uh, you can you can choose any two points, but each time you will you will choose two points on the line and try to find the rise over run. You should get the same ratio because they are all on the same line. Now uh, let's go to the next slide. This slide is same like the previous one, but uh, here. We will, yeah, so we said this, this is the rise, which is a three, and the run is six. So if you will just uh, uh, divide them, this will give you a positive value. Uh, I mean, this will give you one over two, and it's positive value. Now, I want you to see the graph. Uh, the line is moving uh, from left to right. As we are moving from left to right, the, the, the line is increasing. So we can say, we can notice something here, that the slope, the slope, is positive and the line increases okay so of course this is not by luck let's take another example okay can you describe this is this an increasing or decreasing line as we are moving from left to right see I'm trying to trace this see I'm moving from left to right where I'm going now oh yeah okay we're going down so this is uh, this line uh, decreases okay now let's find the slope it's a graph so I advise you to use the rise over run okay so we have rise over run what is the rise okay let's take two points I think these two points are clear ones now I will write this one one okay so how can I reach from I will I will start from here okay let's move if, okay let's start from this point each time uh, we're, we're moving from down to up. Now let's uh, do the opposite now. From up to down. So from this point, how can I reach to the, the other point? Okay, we need to go down. We need to go down two units. Okay, so this is the rise. So I will write negative two. And down, so still we didn't reach that point. We need to move to the right. It means it's positive. So what's the answer? What is the slope? The slope is negative 2. 
Do we have this answer in our options? Yes, it's the first one. Okay, well done. Now, as you see, this line uh, decreases and uh, the slope is negative uh, value. So, uh, okay, now we can also do the same thing here. What if we have more than one point? I think we discussed this case uh, um, in the previous last in, in the previous sorry slides. Okay, now we have to move on to the next. Uh, okay. Oh, what is this? This is different type of um, um, uh, lines. As you see here, uh, is there any steepness? Mm. Steepness, it means there is a horizontal, a vertical change and a, horizon, uh, and a horizontal change. Can you see any vertical change? Okay, how can I know this? Now let's take any two points on the line. First of all, this is a horizontal line. I'll take this point and I will name this one A. Let's take another point and let's name this one B. Okay, now this is a horizontal line and I want to find the slope for this horizontal line. The slope is rise over run. What is the rise? Uh oh, do I need to move up or down? No. Do I need to move up or down to reach to point B? No. So we will stay at the same place. Okay, so what we will do in this case, thus the rise is zero. What is the run? Now we will start from here. So this one is negative three. Okay, and it goes to, I think this is 4. Okay, now how many units from negative 3 to 4? Now there are two ways to do this. You can count them by units. Okay, um, and you find them 7 of course. Here 3 units and here 4 units from 0 to 4. So these are 7. And there is another way, if you still remember that, I can find the distance between two points on a line by taking the absolute value of, let's take one of them, 4 minus, take the difference between them, minus negative 3. And now, close this absolute value, equals, what is the distance between them? Negative, the negative is positive. So the absolute value of 7 is 7, so the distance is 7. Now, which method do you'd like to use? It's up to you. You can count them by units. You can find the difference, but don't forget to take the absolute value because we are talking about distance. Now, okay, we know that it is 7. And we're moving uh, from A to B, so this is positive 7. So what is 0 divided by uh, 7? Of course, this is a happy 0. Okay, what can we say about this? There is no rise, then the slope is 0. The line doesn't rise. The rise is 0. And whatever we have in the denominator, this will not change the value. It is zero. So we can say that all horizontal lines, they have a slope of zero because of the rise, because no rise. Okay, now let's take another case, which is the last case here. Uh, what about the slope of a vertical line? The slope of a vertical line, let's, uh, let us take two points also here. Now I'd like to take this time one on the x-axis. So let's name this one D and take another one at 5, I mean 0, uh, negative 2 and uh, 5 and let's uh, name this one N. Okay, now we say that the slope, if it's a graph, it's rise over run. Okay, now what is the rise? Rise, it means we will move vertically, so let's move up. From 0 to 5, how many units? 5 units. And in which direction we are moving? Up. So it's positive 5. Now let's go down to find the run. Do I need to move to the right or to the left to reach to point N? Of course, no. So this would be 0. Now let me ask you this question. What is 5 divided by 0? Now, many students are doing mistakes uh, in calculating this, um, um, uh, this fraction, in finding the, in, in simplifying this uh, fraction. Now, 5 divided by 0, this is an exception case. Uh, I'll try to give you a hint. Of course, it is not 0. 
of course it is not 5 so what is this it's not even negative 5 okay now this is something related to the calculation but it's not related to this question Let, uh, if I'll ask you to find 10 divided by 2 so of course you will answer 5 why do you think 5 is the answer because if you will multiply 5 times 2 so if you multiply them what you will get so 5 times 2 or 2 times 5 will give you the the dividends okay let's take one more one more example here what if I say that 12 divided by divided by 3 so 12 divided by 3 equals 4 okay why it is 4 because 4 times 3 equals 12 now let's do this here if I'll ask you to divide 5 by 0 equals what now ask yourself this question what is the number if you multiply it by 5 what is the number if you multiply it by 5 you will get uh, sorry what's the number if you multiply it by 0 you will get 5 there is no real number there is no number if you multiply it by 0 you will get a different than 0 so anything multiplied by 0 if multiplied by 0 should give you 0 so because of this because there is no number here so what we will say about this value we will say that this is an undefined value or sometimes they call this one unknown 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 value what does it mean it doesn't work we cannot find it okay we can't find it okay now the line uh, doesn't run so the denominator is zero if you divide any number by zero this is an undefined or unknown value so all vertical lines <coughs> have an undefined slope now remember that vertical lines they have undefined slope horizontal lines they have zero slope okay now let's take um, the other uh, example here before we will do this um, there is a worksheet about uh, uh, the same idea here the worksheet will be uh, its worksheet uh, a worksheet a so this will be first the first task um, you will be given a graph and they will ask you to find the slope of course you will use the rise over run and if you want to um, if you want to practice more you can uh, also again watch this uh, this slide and uh, see how we how did we find uh, the slope using the rise over run so please there is a, a task number one your task number one is a worksheet a and it will be uploaded in the system uh, now okay let's take the other part which is the slope how can I find the slope in case that they give you the um, uh, yeah this is the one so this one is worksheet 4.4a as you see there are three questions here uh, this will be um, your task um, individ individual task so please try to use the same idea the same steps so use the rise over run in doing this and uh, uh, in the last slide I'll show you how to send it uh, how to send your task uh, um, and to be corrected by me checked and corrected by me now uh, we will take the other part now which is uh, how can we find the slope in case that two points are given for you there is no graph so of course I will not plot the points and then graph the line then after this we will do the rise over the run of this it takes time and um, it takes effort also so what you will do it doesn't mean that you cannot use it you can use it but it's better to use another formula in case that points two points are given two points the two points should be on the line now 
uh, the slope formula is given by this uh, uh, by this uh, uh, formula now let's read this together m equals m equals the difference between y over the difference between x y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 of course we can also switch or swap the the uh, the y1 and y2 up and y x1 and x2 uh, up okay how can we do this uh, let's take a pen okay so we can also write this uh, i want to change the the uh, this color okay so let's take another uh, color let's take the uh, okay now m equals what m also m is the slope by the way m equals what i can write it also like as a y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 okay Okay, I want you to notice something here, please, and you can write it down in your notebook or in a sticky note. So, in the way that you uh, you can remember, because this is very important one. Now, I'll put highlight here. Now, as you see here, look at this. The first one, if you start with the y two up in the numerator, you should start with the x two down. Okay, so if you start in finding the difference between the y, uh, if you start it from the, uh, the the second one, you should do the same thing. Uh, um, if you want to find the the difference between the x, and also it is the same thing. So y two under this, you should have x two. Y one under the y one, it should you should have uh, in the denominator x one. Okay, so uh, you can use the other one also, which is this, but please, it's not allowed to have different points. Here you started from the first point, so you should do the same thing uh, to find the difference between the x and start from the first point. Okay, otherwise uh, this will give you a wrong answer. Okay. How can we find this? Uh, m equals, now where is x1 and x2? Before you start, before you solve this, um, my advice for you is to write uh, the x. Okay, so this one is x1, and this one is y1. This is x2, and this one is y2. Okay. Now let's uh, use the formula now y1 y2 in this case is 1 so it is 1 minus minus from the formula now what is y1 y1 it's here negative 2 now down we have x2 in this case it is 4 see the second point now let's write this down 4 minus now what is the x1 see up in the in the question there it's negative 2 so now let's do the calculations negative negative is positive 1 plus 2 equals 3 and 4 plus 4 plus 2 equals 6 now if you simplify it this will be 1 over 2 okay let me ask you this question this is a positive um, this is a positive uh, slope so what does it mean it means that the graph increases okay why okay we don't know the graph we we can't see the graph because we didn't graph it but because of the slope we can uh, know that uh, if this line increases or decreases in our case it is increases it's a positive slope and uh, this is the other method you can also plot the points as we said in the beginning but of course if two points are given please don't bother yourself and graph it if it's not written in the question okay save your time and try to solve it in a smart way uh, use the formula now see this question find the slope of the line that passes uh, through the points 3 and 5 and the other points negative 1 and 4 
now um, so we have two points on uh, on one line and we need to find the slope for that one so of course we will use the slope intercept form let's see how can we do this uh, together so what is the slope intercept form it is n equals okay it's up to you if you want to start from y one it's okay let's start from y uh, one this time minus y two over oh what should i write down shall i write x2 no we said if up we have y1 then what you should have down you should start from the first also if it's one here then it should be one here be careful if you switch them you will get wrong answer now m equals okay now where is y1 and where is uh, all these uh, terms this will be x1 and of course it's up to you if you want to also to make that one from the beginning try to write it but we it's known that what comes first should be uh, the first and what comes second should be the second okay so yes so what we will do now it's um, oh sorry so this will give you uh, where is it okay now we will okay y1 is what's the problem here sorry again okay now uh, oh uh, y1 what is y1 y1 is 5 okay so it is 5 minus what is y2 y2 is 4 let's go down what is x1 x1 is a 3 minus c i'm putting the minus you should put the minus first then after this see what uh, what is the coordinate so it's negative 1 see this minus from the formula and this negative 1 from the point now you all know that negative the negative is positive okay now 5 minus 4 equals 1 and down 3 plus 1 equals 4 what type of a slope is this it's a positive one what does it mean the line increases the line in creases and the line increases okay increases line okay so let's see if um, if our answer is correct yeah yeah so this is right answer uh, this is another one and of course we will um, you just um, we did we you should do the same like the previous one x1 y1 x2 y2 and then you will just uh, replace them and uh, substitute so if i will start from y2 this is the y2 so y2 is in this case one okay so we'll write it here one okay what is uh, y1 y1 is the three so you will write the three here okay so this is the first one one minus the three is negative two and it's not uh, two okay be careful one minus the three is one plus negative three we are adding different signs so you should find the difference and take the sign of the number which is greater now down we have okay we started from the second so we will should take the um we should find the x the difference between the x coordinates start from the second one so it will be two minus negative okay so this minus from the formula but this negative it's from the x coordinate and now let's see what we will have it's negative two over seven oh yeah wait now what type of a slope is this it's a negative slope what does it mean that this the slope is negative yes it means that the line decreases from left to right okay now this is the second task and it's uh, about the same thing as you see here there are two uh, they give you two points uh, on a line and you're supposed to find the slope using the formula 
This just gives you a hint, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But of course, you can use the other uh, formula, which is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Okay, now this is the last type of questions, which is, um, they give you here uh, the slope, which is 4. And uh, they give you 4 and they give also two points but there is something missing here <laughs> okay let's read this the slope of a line that goes uh, through the uh, through the points r6 and 4 2 is 4 now what is missing here is not the slope so they don't, they don't want you to find the slope they want you to find the x this one the x coordinate for the first point. How can we do this one? It's very easy. The only formula we have it is uh, the slope formula. M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And now we know what is r. r equals 4. From where we got this? From here. They said that the slope equals r, equals 4. So instead of writing m, we will replace this by writing 4. And now y2 minus y1, okay, let's write this, x1, this is x1, and this one is y1. When I said 1, it means it's first point, the first point, and x2, y2, which is the second point. Now, what we will do here, we will just replace them. y2, it's 2 minus, what is y1? It is 6. Now, let's go down, 4 minus r. Uh, now, the, we need to find this. We need to find the value of r. Now, let's move to the next slide so we can, uh, okay, it's the same thing. We just copied this from the previous one. Now, what you will do, we all know that any whole number, its denominator is one. So, what you will do, you will put one under the four and do the cross multiplication. Uh, two minus six, of course, it is negative four, and uh, do the ne the the cross multiplication because this is called in math proportion. Two equal ratios is uh, a proportion. So we will multiply uh, the denominator of the first one by the numerator of uh, the uh, the 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 right uh, uh, the right fraction or ratio. Now this will give you negative four, and the other side four times. 4 minus r, please, without this, your answer is wrong. So you should use the brackets because this 4, this 4 is not only multiplied by this 4, it is multiplied by the whole denominator, by all this expression. So you should um, uh, have a bracket. Now, how can we solve something like this? 1 times negative 4, how do you know that this is times? Because you know, if you use brackets and there is no operation, they are multiplying. And this is an easy question, of course. Negative 4 equals, now what did we do here? We have a bracket, so you can distribute, okay, uh, uh, 4 by multiplying this by each one of them. This is one of the methods, but this is not, not, not the only one. There is another way. From the beginning, you can divide both sides by 4, but it's fine. We will do this. 4 times 4 equals 16. 4 times negative uh, uh, 1r equals negative 4. Again, 4 times 4, 16. Positive divided by negative is negative. 4 times 1, oh miss, where is the 1? We should have a coefficient here, but we are not writing that. And you are in grade 8, you know that if there is no coefficient, then it, it should be 1. So 4 times 1 equals r, and that's it. Now, what type of equation is this? 1 step or 2 step? equations yes it is two-step equations so what we will do in this case why it is two-step equations we talk this in term one because there is an addend and uh, there is a multiplication we have subtraction and multiplication so we have two operations that's why it is two um, step um, two-step equations first of all we need to get rid of uh, the addend positive 16 the sign of 16 is here so positive 16 and this is the sign for 4 R so it is negative 4 R uh, so how can we get rid of the 16 we will take the additive inverse which is negative 16 um, now of course you should take it in both sides uh, to keep the balance 
Um, let us let's uh, simplify the the left side. Negative four plus negative sixteen equals negative twenty. Sixteen minus sixteen will cancel. They they will cancel each other. And uh, what will remain in the right side? Negative four r. Now as you see here, uh, negative four and r they are multiplied. So the inverse of multiplication in div is division. If you still remember in term one, we said this and we practiced many, uh, we solved many questions. So we divide, we will divide uh, uh, both sides by negative four to get rid of negative four and to isolate R. Now we know what is R. What you will do, just go to that point, replace X, the X coordinate by writing R. So instead of writing R, we will write only five. How can we check the answer? We need to find the slope. Okay, now what is the slope? It is two minus six. What is two minus six? Two minus six equals negative four. Okay, and this one is four minus five. 4 minus 5 equals negative 1. And you all know that negative divided by negative is positive. 4 divided by 1 is 4. Uh, is the slope 4? Let's go to, this, to the question and check if it's 4. Yeah. So they said that the slope is 4. So it means that this is the value. So r, this r, should be equals to four, five. So, okay, so this is the answer for this question. Uh, these types of questions are very important uh, uh, because uh, of uh, the importance of this type of questions. I give you three questions uh, in, ta in task uh, three, uh, which is a worksheet C. Uh, enjoy uh, solving the three questions and if uh, if you have any question of course uh, don't hesitate to ask. take the first project that is related to the lesson now as you see here this one is uh, an elevator or a lift now you know we if the if we have stairs and we have elevator so we prefer to use the elevator but did you ask yourself why why do you prefer uh, using elevator uh, rather than using stairs okay now let's take this one now uh, describe the movement of this elevator of course it um, it goes up and down so it's a vertical uh, movement vertical movement or vertical path now what is the slope of a vertical line who can tell me what is the slope of the vertical line Okay, let's remember together, it's a graph. So it's rise over run. There is a rise, if you will choose any two, uh, any two points, there is a rise, but we don't have run. Run, it means we will move horizontally. So this is an undefined, uh, um, uh, it has an undefined slope. So uh, let's thank uh, Muhammad Hamad for this uh, great uh, project. Muhammad Hamad from a grade A to B. Now the second project is uh, done by, uh, the second amazing project also, is done by uh, four students in grades 8b also, Habban, Muhammad Yasser, Khaled, and Rashid. Um, as you see here, it's a nice uh, road and, uh, and also uh, we have cars here. And it's like a city, you see the, 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 uh, the straight line here? So, of course, um, don't see this uh, from the top. This is a horizontal line. So let me ask you this question. What is the slope of a horizontal line? Because how the how cars are moving? They are moving horizontally. They are not moving up and down. They are moving horizontally. Okay, so uh, what is the slope of their movement? Uh, what is the slope of a horizontal line? The slope of a horizontal line is uh, zero. So thanks a lot for this group and it's a great job. Uh, the third project is done by the twins, uh, Hamad ha Hadith and the same project. Um, and here you can see, you can see the steepness. Now look at this one. This is a mountain and we have two paths here. This is the first path in blue and another path in 
and uh, black this one is a significant one okay so this path is a significant one and this one is a slight uh, one okay it's a gentle one it's not a sharp uh, uh, path so uh, first of all <laughs> they wanted to describe the blue and the black paths and I think we have done with that uh, compare their slob so which one do you think uh, it has the slob is um, is more so of course the steepness here the steepness here is less than the steepness there okay now if you are driving your car so which path you uh, you will use or you if, if you are sitting with a driver and you want to advise him to choose one of these two paths so which one of the two paths is uh, 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 has less risk so yes of course you will use the blue one okay see how many cars here but this car still he's thinking okay can i go up from this uh maybe he can uh but the problem here that it is really risky so see how math it uh, sometimes saves our life now if you will move uh vertically like this i mean like in a significant path so there is a risk uh, because of the steepness so the steepness here is more okay uh okay a special thank also again for the twins um and um, you deserve also all the all the students um, uh, for all your projects you deserve also a big club thanks a lot for all your efforts um uh, now the before the last uh, project this project is done by uh, Sayyid Ali Abdullah Jafar, Khalifa Abed, Muhammad Awad, again from the same section. And as you see here, this is a mountain and uh, we have two cars. So I tried to make the two paths clear for you. So we have a green and we have the blue one. Now again, we will ask the same question. Which one? The slob is less. Yeah. Now, what is the slob? Okay. It's the vertical change divided by the horizontal change it is the rise over the run again it is the rise over the run if you will divide these two and if you will divide these two so what you will find you will find that this slope the number that you will get it by dividing these two lengths this one and this one um, you will get uh, a number smaller than the the slope there so what does it mean that it means that the steepness is less here so which one is uh, uh, which one the risk is less in which uh, path of course in the blue path it's uh, the risk is uh, less uh, okay there is uh, a, a red car can you see the red car here the red car okay the red car is moving horizontally now what did we say about the horizontal path yes the slope is zero so there is no risk here there is no risk we don't need to um to climb something or whatever okay the last group the last uh, project but not the least again this is done by the twins uh hamad hadif and Saif hadif from the same section um there are two stairs one i tried to show you the path here using um you know the stairs using the black arrow and this one using the green one okay can you see it this is the first stair uh stairs and this uh, this is the second stairs now again if you will find the slope the difference between uh, the vertical change divided by the horizontal change and here the vertical change divided by the horizontal change you will see that where is uh, where the the risk is more the risk is more here because the slope is more okay so so which one uh, the le it's uh, the slope is uh, less the slope is less in the green uh, uh, stairs but i'm not talking about the less and the more as a negative and a positive okay now if of course if you are going up uh, on the stairs so this is uh, we are um, we have to see the graph from up to down like from left to right sorry so this is decreasing and the upper the upper one is uh, increasing but I'm not talking about this one I'm talking about um, uh, if the if the path is a sharp one is a significant one 
or if it's a gentle and a slight one so which one it is uh, uh, this it is safety for you so that's why in our school or in any any other school we were we shouldn't have we shouldn't have a sharp and a significant uh, stairs because uh, 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 for their safety okay so uh, you have to notice this see if everywhere we have math if you think about all the words as a, a math problem uh, this is the last slide in the last slide please do your um, <laughs> okay it is mentioned homework but I will say tasks uh, I want you to do the tasks uh, uh, the three tasks and um, of course if you need any hands so you can go to uh, to the slides again and confirm the idea you have another also resource you have uh, two more um, links YouTubes and um, they are for uh, one of the most famous uh, mathematicians uh, you can also watch that uh, if still you need uh, my help so uh we have a whatsapp group you can also uh, send any message uh, and uh, of course i will answer your question uh please after you will do uh, your uh, your assignment or your uh, tasks solve them i want you to share this you just take a photo using your mobile and then share this file and send it to email share file to my email miss khawla 2014 at hotmail.com please don't forget to write your name and your section have a lovely day and thanks a lot see you inshallah tomorrow with a new lesson